Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. An international team of researchers has discovered a long prehistoric human trackway at White Sands National Park in New Mexico in the United States. And the tracks can be traced for 1.5 kilometers or 0.93 of a mile, making it the longest and straightest fossilized human trackway ever discovered. They show footprints of a woman or an adolescent male that are joined at certain times by the footprints of a toddler. Talking to the media, Dr. Sally Reynolds of Bournemouth University said, an adolescent or small adult female made two trips separated by at least several hours, carrying a young child in at least one direction. The tracks were made in a dried up lake bed, which also contains a range of other footprints dating to between 11,550 and 13,000 years ago, including mammoths, giant sloths, saber-toothed cats and direwolves. The finding of intermittent toddler footprints is a familiar scene for most parents, because it indicates the parent carried the child, put them down for a while to let them walk, then likely the child complained they were tired and wanted to carry and so on. The analysis of the find also revealed several other details, like how the ancient humans avoided puddles, how they slipped in certain places, and it was found the average walking speed was around 4 feet per second. Based on the size of the tracks, the toddler was thought to be around 2 years old or possibly even younger, and it is clear that the child was not brought back on the return journey. Even though it's a trackway that was made around 12,000 years ago, the parent in me hopes the child was okay. It could be that the child was sick and was being returned to the mother. We can obviously never know, but the depth of the prints on the return journey are shallower, showing the person was carrying less weight and hence there was no child in tow. So even though these are just tracks in mud, they tell us something about the social history of the ancient people of North America. We can almost put ourselves in the shoes, okay they're not wearing shoes, of this person and imagine what it was like to carry a child through tough terrain surrounded by dangerous animals. At the time the prints were made, the mud was wet and slick and the journey would have surely been exhausting, especially with an infant. And we know that the dangerous animals were also there. In the past, numerous animal prints have been found in the White Sands National Park, and this is thanks to the use of ground-penetrating 3D radar that has helped the experts identify them. These specific human tracks were also intersected by Colombian mammoths and giant ground sloths. It wasn't just a landscape for humans, it was certainly shared with a whole host of animals, many of them dangerous, so this journey that was taken by an adult and a child was certainly a dangerous one. As Thomas Urban from Cornell University said, it turns out that the sediment itself has a memory that records the effects of the animal's weight and momentum in a beautiful way. It gives us a way to understand the biomechanics of extinct fauna that we have never had before. A new paper on this discovery was published in the journal Quaternary Science Reviews and I've linked it below in the description. I do love to hear about new archaeological finds, but discoveries like this, actual traces of human activity, are sometimes even better than a physical object from the past. Objects give us so much information, but this ancient trackway certainly tells a story. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.